Ladies and gents, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going into episode 17 of the Spooktacular Extravaganza here on the channel and episode 3 of Remakes vs. Originals week. And today we're going to be discussing Fright Night from 1985 as well as Fright Night 3D from 2011. So let's get into those movies. Starting off with the background, the original Fright Night 1985 was directed by Tom Holland and stars Chris Sarandon, William Ragsdale, and Roddy McDowell, and follows Charlie Brewster, a high school student, accidentally discovering the true and creepy nature of Jerry Dandridge, his dashing and enigmatic new neighbor, but no one seems to believe him. Oof. So Fright Night is a, a classic vampire movie, the 80s was a really good era for these kinds of movies, and honestly, uh, this is one of my all-time favorites. I really, really enjoy um, what Tom Holland brought to the screen with this one, and uh, it's a fun story. It's basically like Rear Window meets uh, Dracula, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. Um, the effects are fantastic. Um, the acting is really, really great. Um, I really could not tell you a whole lot of negatives regarding this classic original. Um, it's really, like, down to the T, like, one of the most, you know, like, perfect horror movies out there. I think the second act gets a little, um, you know, it feels a little long, uh, and there's some parts that feel a little bit goofy, but really, other than those two nitpicks, I think this movie is absolutely fantastic. Um, if you've never seen this original one, go check it out, please. It's it's a wonderfully made vampire flick that I absolutely recommend to any horror fan, any vampire fan, and movie fans in general if you just want to see a good practical effect movie. Fright Night from 2011 follows a pretty similar concept and is directed by, uh, if I can find it here, <laughs> is directed by Craig Gillespie, so... The guy who made I, Tanya and Cruella made Fright Night from 2011. That's a cool uh, little you know, feat there. Uh, this one also stars Anton Yelchin, uh, Colin Farrell, Tony Collette, and uh, David Tennant, as well as Dave Franco, Imogen Poots, and uh, Christopher mintz Plassey, or uh, um, as most people might know him as McLovin. <laughs> so this movie, like I said, follows a really similar plot. Um, there's some differences, like, you know, some different, uh, details, like, in the plot, but I don't want to go into spoilers with this one. Uh, it's a solid film. I think it's a really, really cool, uh, remake. It's got, you know, the, the classic remake issue of adding a little bit too much CGI, and this one has some really not good CGI in this one. But, uh, this is a movie that I can watch... And while the CGI does bother me, I still am more invested in the story than I am about the CGI. Even though what makes that original one so great is a lot of the times the effects. It's, you know, it's still a good movie with great performances. Uh, it's just, yeah, those effects really, really hold this one back. Um, this The story, like I said, pretty close to the original. Really investing to follow. I still really, really enjoy it. Um, and as I said, you know, performances are great. Anton Yelchin, uh, may he rest in peace, man. He was such a talent. And, um, yeah, this is definitely no difference, no different for him. I think he's a fantastic actor. Um, if, you know, if he had been able to do more in life, I <clears throat> would have loved that because he's such a great, great actor. Um, yeah, so this film definitely proves no different for him. And also, Colin Farrell, uh, as, you know, Jerry Dandridge, the neighbor, is <laughs> so, so good at just being, like, this, you know, creepy, charismatic dude that, you know, is really, really charming. And I <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. And uh, David Tennant is, you know, like, the, um, the vampire hunter that, you know, the... the um, Charlie tries to enlist on to try and, you know, get rid of this vampire problem. And he is really damn good in this movie. I 
loved him in this one. Uh, I know a lot of people recently have been like saying, you know, like big fans of David Tennant, go watch this movie. <laughs> if you love David Tennant, absolutely watch this film. Um, it shows a lot of his talent on screen here. Um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed him in this film. So in all, the both of the Fright Night movies I think are actually really, really damn good. Um, if I had to pick one over the other, it would be the original, obviously, just because the practical effects are amazing in it. Um, but I still think that both are very, very good films, and I absolutely recommend both to anyone who loves a good vampire flick, um, and especially the original if you like practical effects. Uh, but if you like David Tennant or you know Anton Yelchin or Colin Farrell, you want to see them give a fantastic performance, might as well just watch the, the remake. It's a really, really solid remake. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know if you guys have seen the Fright Night movies. What are your thoughts down below in the comments? Uh, and if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you like these kind of videos and want to see more of the spectacular extravaganza, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification, uh, and yeah, until tomorrow, see you guys next time.